Hey mom. Hi dad. Thanks, Judy. Hey, Sandy. Yeah, it's got a lot of, the stand's got a lot of different things on it, so it's crazy. Oh, you know what? Hold on, let me turn my notifications on. Sorry, I forgot to do that. Um... There we go. Hey Joyce. Thanks for coming guys. Michelle with MMB Creations. Um, I had a poll done the other day. I couldn't decide of which wreath I wanted to make. Um, so, guess which one won? We're going to make the cherry blossom wreath. So excited. Um, I got this ribbon a while ago. It's got, I don't know if you can see it very well, but it's got little cherry blossoms all over it. And I've been chomping it a bit to make this forever, so I'm glad I finally found a sign to make it with. Um, so, what I'm going to do is just let you know what I have that we're going to be working with. So we got that sign, and I'm going to be working on a green 15-inch raised wreath form. Um, and we have the mesh I'm going to be using is a pink um, basic mesh. I'm going to be using doing that in uh, 12 inch poofs and then we've got um, kind of an aqua blue because you can see the metallic in it um, 30 inch was well, 10 inch mesh cut in 30 inch for uh, 30 inch rolls or 30 inch ruffles excuse me then um, I've got pink metallic um, also 10 inch cut in 30 inch um, inches for ruffles and then I'm going to be using some green and pink tubing and I've got some kind of a fuchsia color glitter balls that I got at Hobby Lobby um, around Christmas time so I'm going to use some of those and then I've got a bag of um, cherry blossoms. I got these a long time ago. Hey, Susan, um, from on eBay, and it came in a big bush kind of like this, which I'm going to use some of these too, I think. Um, but I just took them all off because I was using these for my cherry blossom bath bombs. So I got those. And then these are the ribbons I'm going to be using. I've got these ribbons right here. Um, all of them are canvas except this pink one, um, the two and a half inch pink cherry blossom one. So we're gonna use those. Now, I made a bow earlier um, to add to it, which is this. So I used three different colors extra in it. So I used these in the bow. So we got a pink, kind of iridescent uh, canvas, a black canvas, and a blue um, canvas with polka dots. So that's what's going to be in our bow. Uh, let's see. So I already cut up my ribbons. These are at 14 inches long. Um, and I've got these two together. And I've got the green and the blue together. So I think it'll be really pretty. 
It's gonna be a full wreath, I can tell you that much. Hey, Beak. That's my sister. That's her nickname. Her, my mom did not make her Beak. <laughs> That's her nickname. <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the poofs. These, like I said, these are gonna be 13 inch poofs. You're gonna need um, three of these uh, zip ties, which are about five and a half inches long. Um, they come in different colors, but I always use the black because that's what I have on hand. So, okay. I'm gonna put this on the roller. And as I'm going, I'll let you know, I'll let you guys know where I got everything. As I'm going along, come on, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to pan down so you can see what I'm doing. Hey, Ricky. I'm going to try not to touch the buttons. There we go. That's a little bit. Okay. Perfect. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. Okay, that should be good. Okay, so... I'm going to put this on backwards. Sorry, put this on backwards. Okay. So, the other thing too, people, is I have, let me show you, this mesh roller. I got this from Susie Brown. Um, I will put, I'm going to be uploading this to uh, YouTube. So that way um, I'll have a list of everything that I used today and my links and where I got the mesh roller. So let's get started. So I'm going to just walk this in. You guys, I'm just using a basic mesh. I'm not using a real thick mesh. Um, just because it's going to be the base. So um, I wanted to see a little bit of it, but you don't want to use a real expensive mesh if you're just using it for the base. Okay. So I'm going to zip tie this. And let me get all my tools out. I use this to, needle those pliers to pull on my zip ties. And I use one of these to cut them. Hey, Carla. Thank you. Um, yes, if you guys could like and share, I'd appreciate it. That would be fantabulous. Appreciate it. You want to make famous love last night? Aww. <laughs> Thanks, Beth, for letting me know. That was awesome. Did she have a live that I wasn't aware of? Hey, Nancy. Um, I get my wreath forms from Craft Outlet. However, I'm a little irritated with them right now because they are 90% um, of their stock is out of stock. So I'm looking into different places of getting more wreath forms. Um, but normally I get all of my wreath forms from Craft Outlet. So what I'm going to do is, this wreath form came from Craft Outlet, so did this uh, pink mesh that I'm using. Um, the other pink mesh and an aqua blue mesh came from Craft Outlet. All the ribbon came from Craft Outlet except the um, cherry blossom one. That one came from eBay. And um, I liked it so much I got four rolls of it. Aww, Mr. Live. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to curl this under because you want the edges to stay under and not curl up. And then I'm going to just do like a one, two, three method. So for 12 inch poofs, you could measure it if you want, um, or you could use like a ribbon ruler to do it. Uh, one, two, three. And I'm going to miss this tie. So I'm going to go to the next one because we're going to um, end with the one that we just missed. Why are these ties so far apart? 
There we go. Oh, yes, she is. She is very popular, by the way. I agree. I didn't miss it. I didn't get a notification she went live. So I'm just kind of scrunching it like this. I'm going to move that over to you because you guys can't see it. There we go. I think that's better. Okay. And then I'm going to just pull it in with my fingers. One, two, three. I don't pull all of my ties open at the same time. Um, I just open them as I go just because I found just personally that um, they get stuck to my mesh and it's annoying. Just saying. So I just open them as I go. You're welcome to do however it's better for you. Hey Kathy! Thank you, for, thank you guys for coming. I appreciate it. If you could like and share for me, I'd appreciate it. Um, and like I was saying earlier, uh, if you're just joining me, I'm doing a cherry blossom wreath. One, two, three. I did a poll last, a couple nights ago, I think, because I couldn't figure out which wreath I wanted to do. So I figured, you know, I'll get your guys' help. You guys are the ones watching me, right? Um, and the cherry blossom one. So, which is fine, because I've been wanting to do that one for a while. And it worked out well anyway, because the mesh that I needed for my black and teal one, <clears throat> I have to go pick up at the post office tomorrow. So that one will work out. So I'm actually gonna be doing that one on uh, Thursday. So I just pull this in. Um, and so my base is a lime green 15 inch raised wreath form. And I'm using a basic one, two, three, um, pink mesh for the base in 12 inch poofs. Um, that I got from Craft Outlet. Let me get this out because I don't think. There we go. Okay. I think that's better. Let me know if you guys are having a hard time seeing or hearing anything. That way I know. Hey, Dawn. Hey, Wanda Lou. Thank you guys for joining. I'm just pulling this in. So is this time change that we just did? Is it messing you guys up? Hey, Lisa. Except for those of you in her Arizona that don't do it. I wish they would do it here that way in Colorado, but. I like it when it goes back the other way. <laughs> yeah, I am. I'm doing another live on Thursday. Make sure these sides go under. One, two, three. Oh, it's getting kind of hot in here. Hey, Juanita. Thank you. You know what? I'm not. <laughs> I'm not really a pink person. Um, you asked my mom. I was always a tomboy as a kid, but I didn't play with dolls. I didn't. I wasn't girly. That's my sister's department. She liked the pink and all that. But this mesh is pretty. Although the older that I older I get, I'm more into the glitter and rhinestones and. Uh, hey, when you, um, I'm in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Actually, it's Fountain, Colorado, which is a suburb south of Colorado Springs. So yeah, my sister can vouch for you that. I didn't play with dolls. The only dolls I did play with were her Barbies, and I cut all of her their hair. Right, B? <laughs> yeah, at least I'm on my phone. My, um, what should we call it? It doesn't, my webcam, it doesn't work. So if anybody's looking for a webcam that has... One, two, three. Good internet service. I'm selling mine. Yes, bling is good, Juanita. Anything that's shiny. Squirrel moments. Awesome. Thank you, Lisa. 
That makes me feel so much better. A lot, a lot better than last time, right? <laughs> that was a disaster. Okay, so we're almost done with the bottom. Make sure you pull your sides under. Where are you at, Juanita? Aw, thanks, Aim. I was sitting on my, um, in the chair last night, thinking, God, I need to come up with some more designs um, to do for some wreaths because I'm really, really, really getting sick of pink and blue. But I think I think this will be the last one I'm gonna do in a pink and blue, um, just because the one I don't know if you guys saw it on my page. Hold on, I just lost my life. Hold on, just a second. I can't see your comments. Why did it do that? Come on. <sighs> hey, Judy. Um, I don't know, for some reason my life just disappeared on my tablet. Sorry. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, I was trying to make some more designs last night, thinking of something else I can do. Nothing wrong with pink and blue, but I've made three wreaths in pink and blue. I mean, they all look different, mind you, but I need, I need some color in my life. <laughs> so, I've got a bunch of diff dust, different stuff coming. Yes, Becky, I'm actually going to be making some Disney my sister and I are both Disney freaks, by the way, so, um, and we both love Sleeping Beauty. It's our favorite. So, um, I did get a Sleeping Beauty sign that I found. It's really cute. Let me see if I can find it. I got it put away. But I do have some Disney signs I'm going to be using. This one I'm going to be doing for my niece, who's going to have, have, be having another... I'm going to be having a little niece, and then I'm going to be doing this one, A Lady in the Tramp. Purple and blue and orange, it'll be pretty. So I'm going to be doing some Disney. Hey, Trina. Okay, so we're on the last one on the bottom. So I'm going to show you how we transition from the top to the bottom. So I am going to be... Just pulling it and pulling this forward into in front of this tie right here. And you see another zip tie. Thank you, Judy. Okay. And tie this real tight. And the reason why I do this is because if I don't, it wants to kind of fall over, and this keeps it the poop from falling over. Okay, then I'm going to do just like we did last time, and I'm going to go through this tie. We're going to end with this one. So I'm going to open up this one, and I'm going to just do like I have the bottom. So keep the, the bottoms curled under. Two, three... Thank you, Susan. So I have to tell you, I'm gonna be doing. Oh, I'm so excited! I'm gonna be doing a uh, a lantern swag for the first time. I probably won't do that one live just because I've never done one before, and I don't want you guys sitting here forever in a day. I know you guys are busy and have different things to do, but once I figure out how to do one, then I'll do one live. Um, but it's gonna be in. I've got a bunch of flowers behind me, but. Hey, Jolene. One, two, three. I'll show you at the end. The lantern I got, it's about a 17-inch lantern. Um, and it's really cute. And I got it on sale 50% off at Hobby Lobby. They have this huge aisle of lanterns. Um, now, with a lantern swag, I do have to say, before you even start doing it, is um, you cannot put... A live, a live candle, a regular candle in it with, with a lantern swag on it. 
It has to be like those LED candles. So I got two of those. Two, three. So did this time zone thing that we just went through, did it mess you guys all up? I think the one going in the fall where you go backwards an hour and you gain an hour, uh, I think that one messes me more up than the one going forward an hour. I know it messes my dog up. She just <laughs> basically just got back on her schedule from the last one, so... She's all messed up. Uh, come on. Cooperate. It's starting to stick to itself. Okay. So we're going to pull it under. Thank you for sharing. I appreciate it. If you guys could share the love. Okay. This won't take too much longer. This, when I first started doing this, I was really, really slow at it. The first wreath I ever did um, took me all day long. Just because I didn't know what I was doing, obviously. But now I'm faster at it. But Yeah, I agree with you, Bev. I don't like doing the fallback either. It just jacks me up too much. Even though you gain an hour, it's, I don't know, for some reason that one seems harder than the time change in the spring. One, two, three. So I have to tell you, the inspiration that I got from this is because um, I'm originally from Portland, Oregon, and... In the springtime, which I think they should be start blooming here pretty soon, I think there's cherry blossom trees everywhere, everywhere. It's gorgeous, pink and white and fuchsia. Uh, have they started blooming yet, Mom? I know my mom's on here. She would, she would know. So, and seeing how sometimes I get a little homesick, and it's all and it's almost springtime. I really wanted to make this and I'm so glad I found that sign which I found on personally yours I get most of my signs from her so she's got awesome signs and like I said I'm gonna be uploading this to YouTube so um, it'll have all my links on it and I'll share my uh, link to YouTube once I have it uploaded it'll be uploaded sometime tomorrow morning I think no, I gotta put my glasses on because I can't see Oh, there. Now I can see your comments better. I hate wearing my glasses. I hate it. The joys of getting older, right? It happens. It happens to all of us. Okay, one, two, three. So if you're just joining me, what I'm doing is I'm making a cherry blossom wreath. I had a poll down the other night of who thought which one I should do, and this one won by a landslide. So, which is a good thing because I my mesh didn't come in when I thought it was going to be for the black and teal one. So, um, no, they have a cherry blossom festival in Canyon City. I didn't even know they had cherry blossoms down there. Oh, I will have to check that out. Oh, and um, this is a green, a lime green. Uh, oh, it looks like we're at the last one. Good. Lime green, um, 15 inch raised wreath form. And uh, this is a, just a basic pink mesh. Hey, Debbie, thank you for coming. I appreciate it. Um, and then I got that uh, craft outlet. Craft Outlet kind of irritated me today. I sent them an e email because 90% of their wreath forms are out of stock. And I sent them an email yesterday and they emailed me back and said, Oh, yeah, we just got a huge shipment of wreath forms. I should be, um, go ahead and go on our website and they should all be listed for sale. 
no, not one of them was listed for sale. So I emailed him back. She goes, oh, I don't even see we have an order for them. Well, are they in or not? <laughs> well, tell me they're in and then go, oh, yeah, we don't know. So, and they're all the good colors, the pinks and the blues. and So I figured I'd just do a green one with this one since they give a little bit more color. Thanks, Mom. Is Dad watching? Okay, so since this is the last one, I'm going to zip tie this as well. Okay. And then once we're done with this, I'm going to start putting the ruffles in. Oh, okay. And I figured I'd do a live on a Monday night because it's Monday. Nobody wants to go back to work. You know, it's Monday. So, do a little wreath therapy. Uh, you like that? Okay. Perfect. I didn't hear my dog out there. She hates it when I shut the door. But hockey's going to be coming on in a minute, so I know I'm going to be hearing my husband yell. <laughs> so, I have to keep the door shut. Okay, so... Now these are 30 inch, um, this is 10 inch mesh, cut in 30 inches, and I'm going to make um, ruffles out of this. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Don't have my family. Okay, I'm just going to put something a little heavier on this. Okay, I need a bigger table. You know what I do need is I need a bigger craft room. Have you guys ever heard of a she shed? Okay, so I'm just gonna walk it in. I need a she shed. So I need a she shed that's basically a craft room that's twice the size of this. And I forgot to open my tie. I always do that. This is what's called a Bodabra. Um, you can get them at Hobby Lobby or Michael's or anything like that. I don't use it to make bows. Uh, where is my tie? Oh, come on. And it's stuck under here. Hold on. Okay, let me open up this one. Um, I use it as a second set of hands. It holds my ribbon. It holds my mesh. Um... It holds my tubing. Okay, so I'm always gonna have to cut these. I always keep my scissors close. Hey, Sam. That's my husband's sister. She's on. Thanks for coming. Are you at work again? <laughs> I'm just gonna do love shack. <laughs> <laughs> now I got that song stuck in my head. But yes, I do need, I'm saving all of my pennies. Uh, last time I said that, somebody thought I said panties. I'm like, what? Okay, so what you want to do is bring it in like this. Put all the mesh, a little phrase as they're going along. Okay. And then do the same thing at the bottom. got burnt down. That's a bummer. I do need one because my little craft room is just a second bedroom. We have three bedrooms. <laughs> it's always, we have three bedrooms and one of them's turned into my craft room. Um, and so it's not a big deal. I mean, it's better than not having one, right? But I need a bigger one. <laughs> You guys are funny. So 
And we're just gonna walk this in. I'm just gonna alternate these um, blue in a real tie and pink in a real tie. Now, if you don't have a um, work wreath form like this, you can use a regular wired uh, metal wreath form and tie 18 or 10 ties on the bottom and eight ties on the top to make 18 because that's how many that's on this. Okay, and just pull it over. So when you're doing the ruffle like this, you want to pull it under on the bottom. Like this, kind of spread it out. See, it kind of makes like a little flower. Isn't it cute? Hey, Alex. We were just talking about you. <laughs> oh, thanks, Angie. Don't worry, Alex. We were talking about, um, your mom mentioned uh, Disney wreaths, and I told him I was making you a Winnie the Pooh one for your... Uh, your little one but you have to let me know what it is when you find out so I can figure out if I need to put pink in it or blue in it I know the family's hoping for a girl there hasn't been a girl in the family since Alex and she's now what 24 God, I feel so old Okay, so I'm going to take the sides and move them together like this. Do the same thing with the bottom. Just like that. Thank you, Tammy. It's very pink. <laughs> very, very pink. Okay. And those of you that just joined, if you could um, like and share, appreciate it. Just let other people know that I'm on. I'm gonna cut the phrase. I love making these phrases, but the only thing I hate, I hate these phrases. They're everywhere. Oh, see, Alex, I just made you younger than you actually are. Aren't you happy? <laughs> oh, she's 25. <sighs> and her brother's birthday is today, Zachary Nealon. He's turning 28, I believe, right? Hey, Casey. Thank you for coming. And if you, when you start doing these ruffles, if you ever get veered off, like it starts going this way, just pull it back. Or if you start going this way, just pull it back out. And it'll be just fine. And I lost my ribbon. See, I need a bigger table. I'm not going to worry about them right now. Just pull in the sides. Phrase are out of control. Out of control. Okay. So, seriously. I thought it was today. Oh, I had a reminder on my phone that it was Zach's birthday today. Oh. I wish him a happy birthday anyway. Hey, Patty. Hey, Faith. 
thank you for coming. I'm just gonna walk this in. I just put something a little heavy on it because it likes to curl up at the edges if I don't. Um, and so it just helps it keep it a little straighter. I mean, you can put your phone on it, remote, you know, something a little bit heavier. I got a pair of scissors, that's good enough. So did everybody have a good weekend, <clears throat> other than the time change? Thank you for coming. Okay, that was a blue one. Put this over there. So I'll do a pink one. I really love the look of this pink. It's really shimmery. I like the blue better, but it's okay. It's gonna look really cute when I'm done. Hey Kelly from London. Wow. What time is it there on your end? around so the I was having to look at the house when I was cleaning the house the other day I'm like oh my god these wreaths are taking over my house I've got them um, now hanging on the wall behind me um, I'm getting ready to be hanging them in the spare bedroom so I need to start selling these puppies so I can get them off my wall It's where you're at. Are you guys still getting snow or is it now getting nicer outside? My irises are starting to come up. They are. Oops, I have to open that tie. Those are usually the first ones that come up in my husband's. Oh, it's 12 30 in the afternoon. Um, my husband's hops comes up and my irises are starting to come up. Anything with a bulb is just now starting to come up. And then, of course, we're supposed to get snow from anywhere from tonight to um, through Thursday. I'm not real excited about that. I don't like it. Um, yeah, I don't, Lisa, I don't know if Tammy's on or not. If she's on, I didn't see her come on, but she could be, I don't know. There she is. Hey, Tammy. Thank you for coming, girly. Oh, okay. Pink. Hey, Tammy, did you get the text that I sent you this morning? I just want to make sure it went through. I'm just going to pull it in like this. And if you guys just join me, um, I'm making a cherry blossom wreath. did it again. I always do that. forgot to open my tie. Um, I'm making a cherry blossom wreath on a lime green 15-inch... A uh, raised wreath form that I got from Craft Outlet uh, with this basic pink mesh um, in 21 inches. And I also got that from Craft Outlet. Ah, uh, 12 30 at night. Wow. Um, and I got this pink mesh that I'm working with right now. It's metallic pink mesh. And it's 10 inches, but I cut it in 30 inches. Um, we're making ruffles. Um, I also got the blue 
an aqua blue in 10 inch mesh and cut it in 30 inches to make the ruffles. I got some flowers to put on it. It's gonna be pretty. Uh, <laughs> huh, I don't know why it's showing everybody is really blurry. And uh, you may have to come go out and come back in. It looks fine on my end. I know sometimes with um, Facebook using the phone, if there's sudden movements, it goes out of focus and goes back in. I don't know if that's what's doing it. I'm just going to work this in. And when you're putting these uh, ruffles in, push them way down into your tie. Um, it's For one, it's going to help shape it a little bit to where if you have to open your tie back up, it's not going to pop back out. And two, uh, you're going to have to be putting, well, I'm going to be putting more uh, a ribbon in here and then also tubing. So I don't want to run out of tie. Okay, so that was the last one on the bottom. So I'm going to put a pink, I'm going to start the top. Okay, see you, Saber. Thank you for coming. Love you. Oh, there you go, Susan. I'm just going to lock this in. You know what? I just forgot to open up my tie. I don't know. You think I've learned by now how many I've done these, but I always do. That's the one thing I always forget is to open up my tie. You don't have to open up your tie. Um, it's just going to save you in the long run if you're adding more stuff in here. So you don't have to work with a short tie. So it's up to you. You don't have to open up the tie if you don't want to. And those of you who just joined, if you could like and share, I appreciate it. Come on. There we go. This side. This stuff likes to stick to itself too, so. Oh, good, Susan, I'm glad it's better. Hey, Nita. Oh, one thing I did want to mention before I forget is if you guys want to get notifications for my lives, um, you type in either live or alert, and it will give you a notification anytime I go live. Um, Beak. Uh, you know, I don't, I haven't made any with lights. I bought the lights, but I never actually put them in. I might do that for Christmas time, but usually I don't put the lights, the lights in them. They are pretty though with the lights. Hey dad. No, I'm not going to show you how to reload black powder cartridges. <laughs> Silly goose. Okay. Gonna bring this in, put it in. Hey, Dad's silly. <laughs> silly. Uh. Okay. We're getting closer to getting my favorite part is the ribbon. I love the ribbon part. I am a ribbon junkie. <clears throat> my, every time my husband comes in here, he goes, wow, there's a lot going on in here. I said, yeah, I know. I've got tons and tons and tons of ribbon. Thank you, Anita. Okay. Uh, pink. And I have to say that I, my favorite part is not putting the sign on. 
See? Vicky wanted me to show her my nails. Hey, Vicky! <laughs> um, the wreath form, Nina, is a 15 inch raised wreath form. And it has um, lime green. It's, the, it's not the pencil one, it's the, um, the fluffy one. I only get the pencil um, wreath form if they're usually out of the ones in the fluffy form. So, but I like the looks of the fluff on it, the tinsel. <laughs> oh, miss you, Vicky. Okay, come on. Now, if you have um, ruffles that are close together like this, you just want to pull them apart like this because they like to hang on each other and just make sure they're standing up. Okay, halfway around the top, we're almost done. This is like the longest part of the process, guys, is putting the poofs on and the ruffles on. Oh, thanks, Jeanette. I appreciate it. I was saying earlier, I'm not a big uh, pastel person. My nail tech lady will tell you that. Um, but it is springtime and Easter time, and I forgot to open up my bike tie again. Um, so there's a lot of pastel going on this time of year. Okay, so make sure I'm looking at the right tie. I really can't wait for the one I'm going to make on um, Thursday. That one's going to be a, uh, it's a black and white sign that says hi on it. And it's got uh, white flowers on it. But I'm going to add a little color to it instead of just black and white. So I'm going to add like a, a teal color in black and white. It'll be really pretty. Pink. Becky, is this still your favorite color, pink? Refresh my comments. How do I refresh my comments? I'm just going to pull them in like this. Be, there must be filtering comments because my sister just replied after the question I just asked. So, uh, huh, interesting. Anywho, I figured it, it, pink was still your favorite color. Mine's black. I know it's not a color, however, it's a shade. See how different we are? She likes the pink and I like the black. All right, night and day, but it's funny. So I'm afraid of that. I think we've only got one, two, three more for the top. Too much pink. What do you mean it's too much pink? Pink is your favorite color. Okay, just lock this in. See, that's why you have this. This is my second set of hands. <laughs> Dad. I doubt your favorite color is pink, Dad. <laughs> Never too much pink. Yes, I know you are also a pink freak. Miss Amy Lynn. Almost done with the top, guys, and then we can start putting ribbon in. I say we like you're sitting here next to me. This one's got a phrase going on all over the place. Hey, K. 
Kevin. Ah, uh, uh, Richard. I thought so. Richard is my brother-in-law. He's the one that said it was too much pink. I thought something was going on there. My family's messing with you, you guys. <laughs> uh, Patty, I haven't done any Disney characters yet, but I'm getting ready to because I know Alex wants her Winnie the Pooh one. Um, but I can't, and I'll probably do that one live. Um, but I can't do it yet until she has her reveal and finds out if she's having a girl or a boy. So I can put either pink or blue in it. Again, more pink and blue. So, but I'm also, I've got a Sleeping in the Beauty sign. Um, I've got a Lady in the Tramp sign. Hey, and Beak, I found uh, the Lady in the Tramp sign has the little fairies on it. How awesome is that? It's so hard to find Sleeping Beauty stuff with the little fairies on it. Everything's always Cinderella and she's so overrated. But yes, I have one more on the top and then we start going to the ribbon. But yeah, I'm going to be making some Disney ones. Well, I guess I cut too many. That's okay. Uh, blue. Okay. Um, you know, I don't know. I was going to, yeah, probably just a special order on Disney since it is a copyrighted thing. Um, so I, I probably won't list my Disney ones on my store just because I don't want to get in trouble. So, I mean, if anybody wants a Disney uh, wreath, um, just definitely let me know. You can let me know on my business page or on my personal page, either one. And I can let me know what kind of Disney you want. And I can try to... I got a guy on eBay that makes custom signs. So I can pretty much get any kind of Disney that you want. Thank you for asking that question. Uh, you know, my um, mesh is um the bottom is pink 21 inch mesh and 12 inch poofs all the way around and my um the the ruffles are 10 inch mesh in pink and blue and they're cut 30 inches long all right people it's fun time so love gotta love disney susan disney 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 Okay, so I'm going to start putting in the ribbon, and I think uh, I'm going to put the pink and the blue in with the blue, and the green and blue in with the pink. That'll give it a little bit of contrast. And Susan, your wreath came out beautiful the other day. It was awesome. You do good work. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm just folding these in half. I'm going to pinch them in the middle. And put them in the tie. Twist it halfway and then twist it again. And then how you want to do this is you want to pull your ribbon this way. And then do the opposite on the other side. Now, don't be afraid to pull on your ribbon, you guys. Um, if you got it in there when you twist the tie you need to twist it really tight um, so that way you can pull your ribbon and put it wherever you need to this is all wired ribbon so it's going to be formed however you need hey Lise hey Rosemary um, it's going to go wherever you want it to go you just need to force it sometimes you just got to manhandle it. Where is it this is a short one because it had the tie the zip tie in it okay. Hey, Elise, I heard you got the team lead job. Congratulations. Congrats. And then just pinch it. A lot of times your, um, think the phrase are getting out of control. Uh, a lot of times when your, your ribbon's not going to come out, but 
you want to make sure that you tie your tie really tight like I said because like this pink ribbon that I put with the cherry blossoms on it is satiny and so if you don't put it in the tie real tight it can come out Hey, thank you guys for coming out and watching me tonight. I appreciate it. It means a lot. And those of you that have just come in, if you can like and share, I appreciate it. Oh, thanks, Susan. So I was going to put, oops, that one's the wrong way. I was going to put the um, three bows on this and then the sign, but I think I'm just going to do the one big bow and some cheater bows on here instead. Because um, I'm going to use some a little bit of black, um, but I think in the cheater bows I'm going to do the black and the pink. The pink canvas. I should have enough for that. Cheater bows are just a little way to add a little bit more depth and a little bit more pop to it um, without having to make a whole huge bow. And I love them. Thank you, Lisa. Aw, thanks, Aim. Yeah, I call it my wreath therapy. I've been crafting ever since I can remember. Um, God, I've been, I remember sitting on the living room floor when I was about three or four years old just playing with beads. And I remember having, and I don't, some of you may not know what these are, but um, a light bright set. Do you guys ever have light brights? Well, I remember we ran out of the paper that it comes with. And so I would just take the light brights, stick it into the mesh, and just make my own designs. So, <laughs> yeah, I've always been crafty. My grandmother was that way though too. She, that woman, is there any? She cannot sit still. She she wears me out. I hope I'm like that when I'm her age. Hockey must not be on yet. I'm not hearing him yelling in the background back there. Just open up his eye. And a lot of, um, I usually do use like a chip clip to hold the, my ribbons. Um, you can use like a clothespin, um, you know, one of those binder clips, um, just something to hold them. Cause I know with some of them like to curl and then they fall apart and it's hard to keep track of which goes with. Uh, Nita, I don't sell the kits yet. Um, I haven't gotten that far into, I was actually thinking about starting a group, but I haven't started, um, selling kits yet. I was re gonna, I need to do some more research on it to see how that works. And then I can start, um, posting that on my site. Oh, they're smaller now, the light bright sets. Oh. Well. It's not like the kids are getting chipped. One thing I saw yesterday that I had not seen in a long, long time is an etch a sketch. Hey Laura. Um we went to this restaurant 
uh, what was it, Saturday, because I didn't go anywhere on Sunday. And then um, we happened to look over, and I think this is a kind of a cool idea. There was an Etch-A-Sketch on the table, um, and I was thinking, oh my god, she got, they got up to leave, and I was thinking, oh, she left her Etch-A-Sketch. Etch but what I find out is the restaurant had the Etch-A-Sketches there for the kids, so they had something to do. Instead of like coloring, oops, that one's the wrong way. Instead of like coloring and stuff like that, how you normally get like crayons and stuff like that. This one's going to fight me. There we go. So yeah, they had an Etch-A-Sketch. Um, I haven't, Amy. Um, I have not thought about teaching a class. It's a good idea though. I may have to look into that. So just to reiterate, if you just joined me, I am making a cherry blossom wreath uh, with a green, it's a lime green, 15 inch raised wreath form. And then the um, base is a 21 inch basic pink mesh from Craft Outlet. The base is, or the wreath form is also from Craft Outlet. Um, the pink and the blue ruffles are 10 inch mesh cut in 30 inches to make ruffles and I also got that from Craft Outlet. Most of everything I got is from Craft Outlet. So um, I know the cherry blossom flowers that I got, some are from eBay, some are from Hobby Lobby, or no, Michaels. I got them from Michaels. And then the um, glittery balls that I'm gonna be using is from Hobby Lobby when they had the Christmas stuff out. I got those at 50% off. Okay, last one on the bottom. Yes, I will definitely let you know, Amy. I will. I love you, Beak. I'll post pictures later of how it turned out so you can see. Okay. Just pinch it in the middle. You should try making one of these, Amy. You like it. Now I'm going to do the top. Open up my tie. Oh, it's hot in here. It's hot in here. And I'm going to have to put um, an AC or something in here in the summer because I'm not going to be able to hang in, in here with, with it being so hot and it's not even summer yet. You know, it gets like 110 degrees here. In the summertime. Okay, I'm gonna go run this way so you can see. Hey Linda. Thank you for coming. Oh, you could aim. You could. You know when when I first started, I was like really kind of intimidated about making wreaths. And I was thinking, it's gonna, they look like a lot of work, but I watched um, a bunch of videos online and um, that's how I got the nerve to start one. But you don't, you don't know if you're going to be able to do it if you just don't dive in and do it. You can't be scared. And now I'm addicted to it. So some good videos to watch. Um, the ones I started watching when I started thinking about doing lives is um, Hardworking Mom. I used to watch hers all the time. And um, Laura Jean's Wreath Room. Hers are amazing. Um, they both are, actually. And they, um, and they're, they're both awesome people. I'm in uh, Lori Jacobs. Um, success path business group she is also the hardworking mom that does the videos online 
Um, I'm also in the um, Julie Samako's Success Circle, her business group. Um, so they're both teaching me how to do this as a business. And it'll take off here pretty soon, but you know, that's how it works. <laughs> oh, the light brights? Yeah, Becky would eat them. You had to be careful with the light brights. Angie, you should. Because once you start one, the hard, the first one is always the hardest one. Uh, because, you know, you're learning and you don't know. But the more videos you watch, um, you know, you get more of the confidence of like, yes, I can do this. You can do this. You know, and after you do your first one, which is scary, it is, no, I'm not going to lie. Um, then, see that one's trying to come out because the other one's slick. Okay. Then, um, and the more practice you get, the more confidence you get. And some of the groups that I'm in, which... Um, I'm going to be also putting links to on my YouTube page and I'll share the uh, YouTube video once I upload it. Um, they're all amazing people. They've all been so supportive and they're just, it's an amazing bunch of people that I've been working with. Just pinch it in the middle. Oh. Yes, Damon's awesome too. Um, Stacy, I am in Colorado Springs, which is, well, it's actually Fountain, which is a little suburb south of Colorado Springs. So I'm only about 20 minutes from Colorado Springs, so not too far. These frays are going to drag me into oblivion. Okay, we're almost done. We only got two more for the top, and then we can start putting in some tubing. I was going to... Um, I was going to put my tubing in first, but I think I'm going to put the bow on first and the sign on, which I can't stand the sign, um, so I can see where I need to put the tubing, because I don't want to put a bunch of tubing on here, and then the, the bow hides it, because it is a really big bow. And I made my bow earlier. Why do I keep doing that? There we go. Uh, although I guess that was the last one. Oh, nope, there's one more. All right, one more. And I did cut two. Evidently, I can't count tonight because I cut too many of the pink mesh and one of too many of the pink ribbon. So, but whatever. It's better to have too much and not enough, right? I'll use it. It won't go to waste. Oh, I know, Stacy. I love... Laura Jean, she's awesome. She's awesome. I think it goes one way. There. Okay, so let me see if I can go out more. It's going in. Okay. I'm gonna hold this up a little bit. So now you can see the sides. So what I am gonna put, however, the tubing on the bottom. So um Thank you, Kathy. But thank you for coming. Welcome. I know the sign is not my favorite. If I could, if I could pay somebody to put the sign on, I would. Cause I hate it that much. I just have to tire of fighting with it. But um, one thing I do that makes it a lot easier is I put it on my easel, which I may do tonight. Um, I don't know. But I'm going to put the um, tubing on all the way around the bottom. So I'm going to do that first. And then I'll come back and finish it on the top when I figure out where the bow is going to be. Okay. So how I do my tubing is I use, hold it at the bottom. And it's usually about 3 to 4 inches that I hold it at the bottom. And then I loop it like this. So you make it like a figure eight. These loops are about 14 inches, 14 inches, I'm sorry, 
four inches is the loops. You don't have to measure it. Um, I like to put them a little bit bigger at the bottom than I do at the top. Um, just because you don't always see the sides of it. And then sometimes they pop out the sides, which I like. Can you do that? Um, oh, I don't spray anything on my wreaths. Um, I've heard too many horror stories that it makes things sticky or... I know Lori Jean, she has mentioned that it discolors some of the ribbon, so I don't spray mine at all. I mean, I do, when I ship them, I do put a care sheet in with it, so it does explain how to take care of it when you have it, but I don't put any spray on it. Hey, Mary. Thank you. I like fountain. It's not too bad. We are actually about a mile, um, a mile, if that, from the Pueblo County line. So, and we live on, it's, it's nice out here. We're on acreage, so we're on um, six acres, which is awesome. So, I'm not one of those that can live in a suburb neighborhood. We moved from a suburb neighborhood. Um, and I just, we lived like by the hospital, it was noisy, and you got neighbors that are right next to you, and I like my space. So once you put the tubing in, then you can close up the tie. I usually twist it about three times. I'm going to twist it pretty tight. That's how it looks. Isn't that cute? I was going to put some um, black tubing in here, but I don't... It'll be too much. I'm just going to put some cheater bows on here with a little bit of black because the bird... The hummingbird has some black on its body. Yes, plenty of room for my she shed, Amy. I've already got my she shed picked out, and so I'm saving all my pennies for my she shed. I'm so excited. That's one good thing about living out in the middle of nowhere, especially when you got acreage, is that you know, you can expand a little bit. When you live in the suburbs and you're in a house, not that there's anything wrong with it. Some, a lot of people like that, but, um, cause we've built, since we've moved in this house, we've added a sunroom under our house. We've, um, added a 30 by 50 garage. Yes, Janet is very full. <laughs> uh, what else have we added? Oh, we've added an awning onto the house, a car port for our camper trailer, and and now I want a she shed. That's all there is to that. So, saving all my pennies. Um, so what I did with the wreath colors is the the base is a 20 in, 21 inch pink basic uh, mesh that I got from Craft Outlet and the um, ruffles are 10 inch pink and blue um, cut into 30 inches and I also got those from Craft Outlet um, and so when I upload this to YouTube tomorrow um, I'm going to put a list of everything that I used um, and the link where I got them so if you want to uh, see where I got them, and then I'm also going to put the links of my websites, uh, my Etsy shop, um, my groups that I'm with, um, where I got my mesh roller. Um, so I'll, I'll make sure I share that with you guys tomorrow when I upload that. 
Thank you, Adam. Oh, that's right, it's Brittany. <laughs> Found that out last night. <laughs> <sighs> Thank you, Kathy. I appreciate it. Okay, almost done with it. This is the last one on the bottom. See, once you get the ruffles on and the poofs on and everything, it goes rather quickly. Okay, I'm going to put this aside over here. So I'm going to finish that. Now, now we get to do the sign. Not my favorite part. Thank you, Kathy. So what I do with this, and I always forget the name of this. I always write it down. I forgot to write it down, but I use this little tool right here, a beadsmith, I think it's called. And you can get, I got this at Hobby Lobby in the jewelry making section. So I'm going to make some holes at the bottom of this. See how the bird has some black and some green in it? So that black accent will look really pretty. Um, Angie, I usually, I use mostly a 10 inch mesh, but the 21 inch mesh is just the base in 12 inch poofs. Um, the 10 inch mesh is what makes the ruffles around the top that are cut in 30 inches. So I use both, um, but I think it's about even, I would think. Okay, so you just press. Like that. And I'm going to use wire for this. Uh, I'm trying to make it even. Not that it really matters because you're tying it onto the wreath, but. And I use silver wire for this because it hides the best. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> I know, Brittany. I thought I didn't realize it was you last night when I was on there until you said so. And then I saw it again. I'm like, oh, that's Brittany. Okay. And let me buy a buy wire. Okay. And I don't, I mean, I make them a little longer than I probably need to, but I would rather make them um, too long. Then not enough. I can always cut it if I need to. So it's not a big deal. I'm gonna cut four of these. Okay. Now the um, the bow, I already have wire on that. Um, when I put the zip tie on it, I put the, the wire underneath the zip tie first, and then I pull just really, really hard. Um, I made that ahead of time because I did want you guys to have to um, sit there and watch me make a big, huge bow. If you want to know how I make my bows, I do have a uh, tutorial on... Uh, YouTube that shows you how to make a, a bow. I use the Easy Bow Maker, uh, which is actually really easy. A lot of people think it's intimidating, but and just twist this. And of course, the dog's barking. Gotta bark while I'm on a live every single time. And I think my husband Chuck's playing with her. She got her new ball today. It was so funny. I had to laugh. And it's got flat sides on it, so when you throw it, it bounces all over the place. <laughs> and she was having a hard time getting it because it kept bouncing around all over the place. It was so funny to watch. So funny. She's my little fur baby. But boy, she sheds. Shed, shed, shed. That's why I don't let her in my craft room. She won't go in here anyway unless I'm in here, but usually when she comes in here, it's like for five seconds and then she walks out. She just wants to make sure I'm in here, what I'm doing, and then she just walks out. She's
she follows my husband around like he's got a stake attached to his butt, so. <laughs> she's a, she's a big old black German Shepherd. She, uh, <laughs> got a package today from Amazon. My husband ordered something and she scares the crap out of them all the time. She was not like the FedEx guy, the UPS guy, the Amazon guy. I don't like any of them. Okay, here we go, people. Here we go. So, I think I'm going to put this right here. Put these up here. Put these up here. Put these down here. Make some room. Sorry if you guys can't really hear me. I'm just I, talking to myself. I do that all the time. <clears throat> if I start having a conversation with myself, then that's when you have to worry, right? Okay, so I think I'm going to put it right here. So I'm going to see if I can find a hole. Um, one thing that I, I use the wire especially too because it, you can go right through the mesh. You can use... Um, chenille ties or pipe cleaners but it's it's kind of hard to go through the mesh this way it's easier come on there it is and you don't want to squish your mesh down like this you want to just lay it on top and i'm just gonna flip this over you know what hold on this is why I use my easel because it's so much easier. There. And then just twist it. <laughs> Susan, you're funny. You crack me up. This side next. So if you guys are making wreaths, if you have um, an easel, it does make this a lot easier so you don't have to keep flipping it over. Um, one thing I did is I got mine from uh, Amazon and I just added a couple knobs to it from Lowe's and so that way it can stand up. Oh, good, there's a hole right there. Okay. One thing, the good thing about the, um, the easel as well is it gives you a better view. Uh, you're looking at it straight at it instead of down on top of it. So it gives you a better view of what you're looking at. Well, before I got my easel, um, that's, things were coming out crooked and it was a pain in the rear end. They'd have to take things off. I'm just trying to find a hole right here. There we go. I'm going to try to eyeball this one. Okay. 
There, that turned out good. And then what you want to do is just kind of pull these up a little bit. So it looks like it's sitting inside the mesh, but not smashing it. see where I need to put the uh, tubing. Okay. Looks like that. So I'm going to put my bow on next. Oh, thanks, Susan. It's a party. So this is the bow that I'm going to put on it. Got a little bit of black in there. So I think I'm going to put this up. I haven't uh, dovetailed these yet because I don't know how long I want them. As soon as I get it on the wreath, then I'll know. Okay, I think I'm going to put this right here. Okay. I'm going to put this in the upper corner. A little bit more even because I have a hard time getting it in the mesh. You know, that's why I use pipe cleaners, or not pipe cleaner, but um, wire instead of pipe cleaners. It's just so much easier. There you go. You don't want to pull it down so hard that it's um, going to mash into your mesh either. You just want it sitting on top. And I'm not worried about it being smashed right now because I've still got to... I don't completely fluff out my bows until I put it on the, the wreath. Um, because, for one, when you're putting it on the wreath, it's getting all messed up anyway. Okay. I'll bring this over here so you can see. So, I want to fluff this, fluff this, want these tails a little long. Okay. I'm just like stick your fingers in them and just kind of pull it open like that. Okay. Now I'm going to start. Um, hold on. I gotta look at it real quick. I need to move, I need to move the bow over just a little bit. <sighs> Again. I want more over this way. Okay. 
You guys, when I'm finishing a, a wreath like this, I always cover the back with um, like a placemat, a round one, which you can get them at Walmart. Um, Hobby Lobby's got the Easter ones out, so they got the pink and the yellow and the and the green. Um, I also get mine from AliExpress. <laughs> oh, you like the bows? Judy, these, the bows are actually my favorite, even though it's kind of a pain to put them on just like the sign, but they are my favorite, so it, I don't mind. There's a... There we go. Okay, now we're cooking with gas. There. That's better. Okay. Now I'm going to start dovetailing. So, how you dovetail? You take your ribbon, fold it in half, and then you cut it at an angle. Okay, just like that. I'm going to keep these ones a little long because I want it to... Let me curl them a little bit. So what I mean by that is since they're wired, you can take them and run your finger through them like that. See? Just like that. Just pull them and curl them under your finger. And then when I'm done with these, this bow, um, that's when I'm going to put in my tubing for the rest of it. Normally I put my tubing in first, but set the tubing on it and then the ribbon's hiding it. Let me cut this one down just a little bit so you can see the bow. Hi Sharon! Thank you for coming. It's amazing how many lives people are doing now. It's hard to keep up with them all. And I try to go to as many as I can, but I'd be on a live all the time. Um, there's nothing wrong with that, but there's so many talented people, and it's hard to get all of them. Okay, almost done detailing. I've been so busy that I know Laura Jean has uploaded some new videos and I haven't even been able to watch those. So, okay, I'm going to cut that one. Let's cut this one. Is everybody ready for spring? Thank you, Judy. I appreciate it. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. You're so sweet. Okay, I think I got them all. to see um, I'll pan up when I'm done but okay so I am gonna cut the tubing out and put it on we are actually almost done guys all I gotta do after that is just add some flowers and my little cheater bows and I think we'll be done and my little 
I'm, I'm going to plug in my uh, glue gun. Gotta love the glue gun. You guys, I forgot the other night. Oh my god, it was so bad. I forgot the other night. <laughs> I left my glue gun on. No bueno. Okay, so where do I want to put the tubing? I want to put a ball here. And... I'm going to put one there. Two. Okay, so... I'm going to have... One... Two, three, four. Okay, so four things of tubing. Okay. Thanks for hanging out with me tonight. I really appreciate it, guys. You guys are awesome. Amy, really? You're ready for more snow? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? I hate the snow. I hate it. Yeah, I'm with you, Sharon. I'm not. I'm so ready for spring. I started making spring wreaths like, oh, when was it, January? <laughs> so, I didn't even make a winter wreath this year. I'm like, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I don't want to. I love spring. Spring is my favorite time of the year. That's when everything that looks dead comes back to life. Um, all the flowers are blooming. It's pretty. And I can't wait till my irises are blooming. <laughs> I got um, my irises when they bloom, they're black. Okay, there we go. It was out of focus. Um, yeah, they, well, they're not really black, but they're so purple. They're a midnight purple that they look black. Isn't that cool? Black flowers. <laughs> I didn't think so, Amy. I was going to have to take your temperature. Just saying. Okay, and at this point, I can kind of make the ribbons on the top an X. Okay, so we got those. And then the two up here at the top. I could actually do without the summer here as well because it gets so hot. You know, when it starts getting up into 110 degree temperatures, I'm kind of over it. Especially with having my own personal summers. Yeah, I don't need to have another 110 degree heat on top of it. Just... I'm just done. I don't like that. The older I get, the more I hate the, the heat heat. It's just, ugh. And my husband was saying that when we retire, we're going to, you know, stay in some places that are warmer while it's cold here in the winter, which is awesome. And he was thinking like Arizona. I'm like, seriously, Arizona, where it's like 125? <laughs> I just can't win. I can't win. There we go. Okay, so my glue gun should heat it up just enough to where I can start putting on a couple of these. I'm gonna put some of these on. I'm only gonna put four on. I'm just going to cut these off. Let's see if I can pull these off. Hey, Kim. Africa hot. Yes, Mom. It's Africa hot. I don't like it. Okay, so those these are styrofoam. So this comes right off. It, it'll pull right out. I don't like Africa hot. I want it Africa hot. I go to Africa, right? Thank you, Sharon. I appreciate it. I don't know. Do you guys like the hot weather? 
What's your favorite season? And you know mine's spring, so. Okay. So, my little handy dandy glue gun. Okay, so I'm just going to put glue on the bottom of these. And there goes one. Seriously. And stick it right on this tie right here. Y'all, this glue, um, hot glue, and things that you hot glue stick perfect to these ties. <laughs> I know, Amy, they're, they're, my parents are a kick in the butt. They, they're funny. Hot, but it's cold. Oh, you're in Oklahoma. What's the weather like in Oklahoma? Are you do you guys get snow there, or let me get the other ball that fell off the table. Ah, my ribbon there off the table. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of. I used to love the, the summertime, but like I said, the older I get, the more I can't stand it. I don't like it. Just saying. Okay, so I'm just putting this on here, letting it cool off a little bit so it sticks. Stay. Well, you guys are so awesome. I like summer, but not Africa summer. I don't like Africa either. I just don't. <clears throat> My husband thinks I'm a, well, he calls me antisocial because in the summertime when it's hot like that, I just don't, I don't go outside. I stay in my craft room or I don't know, I'm online doing something. So I don't. I mean, it's six, it's like 110 degrees outside and it's 65 in the house. Hmm. Gee. Well, let me stay inside. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, Sharon, I heard you guys get a lot of snow out there in Missouri. Did you get a lot of snow from this last band of weather that we had last week? Of course I, mom. <laughs> Tell dad, yes, I did. <laughs> uh, don't make me come over there. You guys crack me up. Okay. So we're going to have these little balls on here. And then I was thinking about putting some of these around the edge of those. Let's see what that looks like. And a lot of wreath making is just guessing. So with flowers though, what you want to do is place your flowers where you want them and then glue them because it's going to be a lot easier if you do that. That one and this one. Oops, that doesn't want to stay on there. Okay, yep, that looks good. I'm just going to put some glue on these. This glue looks yellow. That's weird. Um, Karen, my average form, I think that's what you're asking, that I make them on, is a 15 inch. They have um, 10 inch ones, 24 inch, 22 inch. Those ones are huge, but the most average ones that people make reads on in general is a 15 inch. Um, but like I said, mine, I always do mine on a 15 inch. I don't know if they're gonna glue all over me. That looks really cute in there. Little flowers, this one's little. I want a bigger one. Why does my 
Come on. Oh, I know why it looks yellow. Because I left it on the other day. That was no bueno. Hot. Yes. Glue is hot. Just saying. Okay. That looks really cute. I'll show you what it looks like. Can you see that? Isn't that cute? Okay. Now. Sorry, I'm at price on making them. Oh. Um, mine go anywhere from. I would say. 50 to 85. It's just going to depend on what I put on them. Like right now, I've got a. John Deere one. That's a pretty basic wreath. I mean, it's still really pretty, but there's not a whole lot into them. It's just got the mesh and the ribbon and the, and the tubing. So that one, you know, is like 50, but I've got another one on there that's, I think it's um, 85, where I've got tons of sprays on it and bows. And so it's just going to depend on um, what I put on them tell you the truth. This one, um, I'm thinking probably 65 to 70 is what I'll price this one out at. If it's got like more, the more ribbon that it has on it, like with bows and stuff like that, the more expensive it's going to be. Just because ribbon, depending on the ribbon, can be um, pretty pricey. I mean, I think I paid for this, I don't even remember how much I paid for this ribbon because I bought it so long ago. You're welcome, Karen. Glue webs. Okay. Thank you, Sharon. I appreciate it. So what I'll do when I'm done with this wreath is I'll put it up on my easel so you can see what it looks like. Um, let me just sit for a second. So you can see what it looks like upright. I'm not used to putting flowers on like this. I'm used to looking directly at it. And I don't know if I'm going to put... I don't, I don't know if I'm going to put those other cherry blossoms on it. Thank you, Joyce. I appreciate it. Like I said, I can't wait to make the one I'm going to do on Thursday. It's going to be black and white and teal. and um, I'm going to have to do the sign before. Well, not do the sign, but I'm going to have to put pipe cleaners on the sign. That one I'm going to have to put pipe cleaners on because it doesn't. it's not metal, it's wood. So I have to put... Um, pipe cleaners on it before so I gotta use the staple gun tools Yay! okay those are done now actually I was gonna put some cheater bows on it but I don't think I'm gonna Okay, hold on. I want to look at it real quick on the diesel. I can see. I almost dropped it. 
Oh, no, that looks pretty. Yeah, that looks good the way it is. Okay, so I'm gonna do, because I think I'm done. I was gonna put some more cherry blossoms on it. I don't know if I'm gonna. I'm gonna put this on the easel so you guys can see what it looks like. And then I'm gonna pan up so you can see it, okay? Okay, hold on, I'm gonna pan up real quick. There you go. What do you guys think? Actually, it needs to go out this way. There, that's what it's supposed to look like. What do you guys think? I think I should add some more cherry blossoms to it. Let me see. think thanks guys yeah I think I'm done I think it looks good the way it is add another bow yeah I might uh, I, I might have to put it up here because I've got these balls right here And there's a like a spot right here I could probably put that. That'll look cute right there. So, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna. I can use these cherry blossoms for something else. Trust me, they won't go to waste. Um, but I think it looks pretty. And then I've got a pink uh, placemat I can put behind it. Some blue. Oh yeah, the, the the one with the teddy bears on it. Yeah, that one was awesome. Oh, this does not want to stay up. So I think I might put another. I'm not gonna do it tonight, but um, I think I might put another bow on it. Maybe I'll change where I put this sign and move it over towards a little more and I can put another bow right here. I don't know, I'm still playing with it. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, you see Grandpa's old clock? <laughs> I was actually thinking about taking that to uh, the quick, the TikTok shop and see if they can get it to work, but I doubt it. All right, guys. Thank you for hanging with me. I appreciate it. You guys have been awesome. Um, I'll post some pictures tomorrow um, because I'm still undecided of what I want to add to it, and that way you guys can see the finished one. Um, Loria Cheater Bow is, let me show you. It's a bow, it's just a piece of ribbon that makes it look like you have a little bow on there. So you take ribbon like this, you kind of fold it in half like this, and then you fold it, and in the middle you pinch it, and then like you twist this part, and then you've got a little bow. Why don't you cut that? It's really cute. So, I don't know if I want to add some of those, or a bigger bow, or both, or... I don't know. Um, but I was... 
I was gonna actually put some cheater balls on it, but I put the balls on here instead. So once I move this over, then I can probably put a couple right here. I don't know yet. Yeah, Sharon, I was too. Um, but once you do your first one, because I kept putting it off, putting it off, putting it off. Once you do your first one, um, it's so much easier. This is only my second one. So, um, yeah, it's, it's fine now. But thank you guys for watching me. Um, I appreciate it. Uh, I will upload my, uh, video to YouTube tomorrow and I will send out a, um, a picture of what it looks like after it's completed. So, um, I'm happy with it, but I'm not super stoked about it. It just needs, I think this needs to move over and have another bow on it or something. So, but thank you guys. I appreciate it.